old besties. Pull up a chair and grab your calculator because we are about to spill the tea on dosage calculation dimensional analysis style. Let's get started. So when it comes to solving dosage calculations, you have three main ways that you can calculate meds. You've got the formula method, also known as desired over half. Think I want it, I got it. You've got ratio and proportion, which is the old school math teacher realness kind of calculation. And then you have dimensional analysis, which is going to be our main character in all of our math calculations today. Dimensional analysis is one of my favorite ways to calculate most dosage calculation equations because it's really your one stop shop to solve all med problems without having to flip tables. So step one, we've got fraction one, which is either going to be our design dose or a patient weight if we're doing weight-based calculations. This is going to be your why. What the provider ordered, if it's a basic dose, we're going to plop it here. And if it's a weight-based calculation, we're going to grab the patient's weight. Step two and fraction two, we have our conversion if needed. If your units are feuding like grams versus milligrams or pounds versus kilograms, it's time to throw in a conversion factor like a peace treaty at a family reunion. Basically, we need everyone speaking the same language here. Some common conversions that you can see is one gram is equal to a thousand milligrams, one milligrams is equal to a thousand micrograms, and one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. Here's a pro tip. Always put the unit that you're trying to get rid of at the bottom so that it'll cancel out. More to come on that a little bit later. Step three and fraction three, we're going to look at what we've got, dosage and volume. This is your final layer. It's what you have in your hand, the drug label information. So your dosage is how much drug you have in the container and your volume or vehicle is going to be what it comes in. It could be one tablet, 50 mLs, whatever it looks like. So let's do some practice to pull this all together. So our first practice question says is that we have acetaminophen 650 milligrams PO every six hours PRN for pain. What we have available to us, what's on the medication label, is acetaminophen 325 milligrams per tablet. So first up, we have to ask ourselves, what is our desired dose? So we know that we need 650 milligrams. So I'm gonna put 650 milligrams right there. Do we have to do any conversions? No, we don't, right? Because our available dose is also available in milligrams. So there's not any conversions that are going to be needed. And then lastly, what dosage and volume do we have available? So we know that we have 325 milligrams per tablet. So now we're just going to plug it in. So our first fraction, we've got 650 milligrams for one dose. We don't have any conversions, so we can skip that step and move on to our dosage and volume available. So remember what I talked about before, that pro tip is making sure that you put what you're trying to cancel out at the bottom of your fraction. Well, what I wanna cancel out here is our milligrams. So that means that I need to put our 325 milligrams on the bottom of our fraction and our volume on the top, which is one tablet. So that way, when we cancel out our milligrams, the only thing that we have left is how many tablets per dose that we're going to give. And as always, because we're multiplying fractions, we're gonna multiply both of our numerators together and both of our denominators together. So starting with the top, we're gonna to multiply 650 by one tablet that's going to give us 650. And then on the bottom, we're gonna multiply our 325 by our one dose, that's gonna give us 325. Now we're gonna do a little simple division and that is going to give us our final answer of two tablets. So for this individual, we wanna make sure in order to meet what they need, we have to give them two tablets. So let's take a look at our next example. So the order states that we need to give levothyroxine 75 micrograms PO daily. The dose is available in 0.05 milligrams per tablet. So we're definitely gonna have to do a conversion here. So for our first fraction, what is our desired dose? So we know that we desire to give 75 micrograms. Now, what are we looking at in regards to our conversion? We need to go from micrograms to 
milligrams. And we know that one milligram is equal to a thousand micrograms. What is the medication available in and what is the volume? We know that the medication dosage is available at 0.05 micrograms and that's per tablet. So every tablet has that dosage. So now we're going to start plugging in. So we've got 75 micrograms for our one dose. Remember, we're, for our next fraction, we need to make sure that we line up like units so that they cancel each other out. So we're gonna put our micrograms on the bottom of the fraction and our milligrams on the top of our fraction. Because as we know, when we go into fraction three, we need to put our dosage on the bottom, that's our 0.05 milligrams and our volume on the top, which is one tablet. So now we just need to do a little handy dandy math. We're going to multiply everything on the top of our fraction and everything on the bottom of our fraction. So on the top, we have 75 multiplied by one multiplied by one gives us 75. And on the bottom, we have one multiplied by a thousand multiplied by 0 0.5. 0, 0.5 is equal to 50. Now we're just going to do a little bit of division. 75 divided by 50 is going to give us our correct answer of 1.5 tablets. It's really important to note that anytime that we have like a half tablet, but not a whole number kind of tablet, we want to make sure a couple things. Number one, that the medication is scored so that we, we are able to give it in that half kind of formulation. And if it's not, then we need to reach out to the provider, have a conversation, and maybe seek other kinds of medication types or dosages in order to get them their medication safely. Let's do our final practice question. So the order says that we need to give amoxicillin 20 milligrams per kilogram, P-O-B-I-D, which means twice daily, for a child that weighs 22 kilograms. The medication is available in 250 milligrams per 5 ml suspension. So the first thing I note here is that this is a weight-based dosage calculation because we have weights involved. But what's good is that our child is already in kilograms. So we don't need to convert between pounds and kilograms, which is gonna save us an extra step. So number one, because it is a weight-based dosage calculation, we're going to start with the patient's weight. So we know that our patient weighs 22 kilograms. No conversion is needed as we've already discussed because our patient is already in kilograms instead of pounds. Next up, we need to figure out what is our desired dose. So based on the medication that was written, we know that we need to give 20 milligrams per each kilogram. And lastly, what is the dosage and the volume that's available? We know that we have 250 milligrams that are going to be available per every five mLs. So now it's just plug and play. So the very first fraction we want to do is we want to start with our child. So we know that our child is 22 kilograms for one child. We don't need to do a conversion in the middle because we already have the child's weight in kilograms. So we can move on to the desired dose. Remember, we want to line up like units so that they can cancel each other out. So on the bottom, I'm gonna put one kilogram and I'm gonna put our 20 milligrams on the top. Same thing for our final fraction, our, our dosage and our volume that's available. I wanna put our milligrams on the bottom and I'm gonna put our volume on the top. Now we're gonna do a little handy dandy math. I'm gonna multiply 22 by 20 by five, and that gives me my top number of 2,200. And for the bottom, we're gonna multiply one by one by 250, and that's gonna give me 250. Now we're just gonna do a little division. I'm going to divide 2,200 by 250, and that is going to give us our correct answer, 8.8. .8 MLs. All right, fam, that's a wrap on dimensional analysis. Remember, when you are looking at your fractions, you want to be able to cancel units and always trust your nursing judgment. As always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as well as that bell notification so you're notified anytime that we go live or that we post new content. Drop a question or comment down below. I love answering your questions. Head over to nursechungstore.com where you can get access to a ton of fantastic goodies. And as always, I'm gonna catch you in the next video.